Okay, this is my latest project. I have called it the Caster Bot because it uses a caster wheel and it is a small um, Arduino powered robot that I built out of some spare, relatively cheap components. Um, it is controlled by a PS3 controller, much the same as the remote control car in, in fact, exactly the same as the remote control car in uh, another video of mine, which I'll have a link to. Uh, except it's a lot more interesting because not only can I control it around, or drive it around, but it also has a gimbal on it. Now, I don't have a camera for it at the moment. Maybe one day a GoPro with a uh, FPV video system, but at the moment it just has a light and an ultrasonic rangefinder. It is powered by a two cell lithium polymer battery. I think this is about 430 milliamp hours. It runs the thing for well over 20 minutes, which is um, quite good. Uh, it's powered by two parallax continuous servos. Um, the gimbal is just two 180 degree digital servos. The brain is an Arduino Mega 2560 with the circuits at home USB shield with a Bluetooth dongle plugged into it. Exactly the same as used in my other video. Uh, and I have added a second U uh, Bluetooth router so that I can retrieve telemetry data wirelessly while the thing is running. And my communication is not shut down when I am uploading new code so that I don't have to go through the tedious process of reconnecting Bluetooth. This thing remains on and connected even if the Arduino is reset and downloading code. Um, in here I have a little light to indicate when the rangefinder is operating. There's a small breadboard underneath the gimbal where there is a 5 volt regulator on the far left to power the Arduino with a steady and low voltage power supply and two MOSFETs I pulled out of an old electronic speed controller, one of which controls the 102 decibel siren mounted on top of this servo, the other of which runs the extremely high power light or LED right there. Um, on this side I have a, an old broken, somewhat broken, it still functions, a lithium polymer alarm to make sure I do not over discharge my battery. And, um, well, I guess a Lexan plate as the body, two approximately circular wheels from Hobby Lobby. They weren't actually wheels, they were supposed to be tabletops, but I got them pretty round. And a caster wheel from Ace Hardware. So here I will set the camera down and turn this thing on really quickly. I wish this was a little wider angle. And there we go. Okay, so much like in my previous video. Here is the Arduino. And I don't know, I'll put it back here so you can see it. Here's the PS3 controller. <laughs> Guess I have to get really close. So when I press the PS button, the controller comes on and starts blinking. And you'll notice that in the background, this starts blinking. And when this blinks rapidly, this becomes solid, and that indicates that I have communication. Um, Oh, here, let me, there's not a whole lot of space on my desk here to drive it around, but we'll do our best. This box. So I use this two sticks to drive it, much like tank drive. It's extremely fast and very precise when turning and in small areas, but it's not very interesting in a straight line for long distances because it's quite slow. Although very, very precise. Uh, now I can control the... Well, here, may maybe you guys have noticed, the gimbal is pointing backwards. Um, I had originally intended for it to drive in this direction, but it just so happened that the, for whatever reason, it's actually because the, the angle of the base is slightly tilted forward, that the caster wheel works better when I drive it in this direction, not this direction. So, um, everything sort of pointed backwards, but it's okay, it, it works. 
So now we'll go over the gimbal. The gimbal I can activate by holding down the L1 key and then the right joystick now has complete control over it. It's actually quite smooth, but because of the lack of resolution from the PS3 controller stick, it feels a little rough when running it. Although you'll notice that if I go to set positions, it's quite smooth. Um, I can turn on the light. Uh, which would stop making noise. Yeah, I can turn the light and I can turn the rangefinder. And you'll notice that when I turn on the rangefinder, the red LED in the background will light up. That indicates that the rangefinder is on and I can look around, do all sorts of stuff like that with the rangefinder. Now, if I weren't using my phone to film this video, um, I could use a Bluetooth terminal application to retrieve all of the telemetry data from the robot. So that would be like the stick positions, um, the controller status, as in battery voltage, rumble status. I can also retrieve the angle of the tilt and pan servos on the gimbal and obviously the ultrasonic range finders, uh, the range it is calculated. Uh, you could also access this information from a computer via Bluetooth or the standard wired way through the USB port on the robot. And um, that's about it. I will have, this video will be uh, posted on my website, obviously hosted on YouTube. Um, so I'll have a link in the description to the website post with a list of components and uh, the code if anyone would like to look at it. Um, if you would, uh, it's very common for beginning robots to use servos rather than motors because motors are a lot more complex because you need a driver and gearboxes and all that sort of stuff. So um, this is a relatively common project so you may be able to adapt the code if you've built something similar. Um, and this is a very, very common rangefinder. And um, I have another video about how to use the shield and the Bluetooth with the PS3 controller. So this is a relatively cheap, uh, pretty common setup. So I hope that some people will be able to adapt my code to whatever they build. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them either below this video on YouTube or on my website post.